In this video, we are going to find out the number of binary operations. That means we have already studied functions, we have already studied relations and we have already seen how to find out the number of functions, the number of relations when we consider the sets. Similarly, in binary operation also there must be some formula, some mathematical analysis and approach. Let's see how to find out the number of binary operations. Suppose I have a function given and the function is such that it is named as f and the binary operation is there. So what will happen is we will have two elements, Cartesian product giving one. Now let s have n elements. Let s has n elements. Now s cross s that means the Cartesian product so it means n and n multiplied so that gives me the domain has how many elements that means when n and n multiplied will give me n square so the domain has n square elements and what about the range the range is on right hand side the right hand side is only s so the range or it is better to use the word codomain. The word codomain because we are not sure as to what will happen. Right? So, right hand side always it is better to write the word codomain. If it is onto function, we can replace it by range. Codomain has how many elements? Codomain is simply and simply s. So, it has n elements. So, by far what we have seen, we have seen we have a function. And we have seen how many elements are there in S, in S square, that means in domain and codomain. Now, what is my task? My task is to remember that we had done something called as computing number of functions. There was a formula. And what was the formula in that case? The number is equal to what? Number of elements in domain power number of elements in domain. Remember this was a formula we derived also. If you are not aware of this formula, you may watch the previous videos regarding number of functions. Now the formula is number of elements in domain to the number of elements in domain codomain power domain you can remember it that way now number of elements in codomain what is the number of elements in codomain codomain has n elements so it is n then we have a bracket what is the number of elements in domain domain has n square elements so the formula becomes what it becomes n to the power n square so this is the formula this is required formula for number of binary operations. I am writing in short O, P, E, R and S that is operations. Otherwise it is advisable that you write in full spelling. Now we can take an example to the same. We have already seen what is the formula. We have already understood what is the analysis of this formula. Suppose I have a set and the set is as s and this s set has four elements now four elements means what four elements means domain would be having some elements and codomain would be having some so four elements are actually the value of n that is given to me if it is four is equal to n then what is n square n square is equal to 4 square is equal to 16. What is the answer to the number of binary operations? Number of binary operations written very fastly. So you think the readability would be there. I'm reading it again. That is why number of binary operations is equal to n to the power of n square. So what is n? n is 4. What is n square 16? So 4 raised to the power 16 would be the answer to a question wherein you are asked to find the number of binary operations from a set 
wherein the domain has 16 elements and the codomain has 4 elements. In the next videos, we will be learning as to what is the use of identity element, what is the use of inverse element and so on.